Hey everyone, so in the last video we finalized the small street and began building the Agora of Theonopolis by constructing the assembly hall, which in today's video we will be finalizing and we will be further expanding the Agora. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video of Theonopolis. So, a new intro which I kind of like, but do tell me down below in the comments if you guys like it or if you want to see something changed, because I'm always open to suggestions, but let's continue with the video. So, as I said in the intro, we will be finalizing the assembly house today, which I did some research in and I found out that it's called the Bulletarion in Greek. If I mispronounce it, please do tell me, like my only source of like knowledge about pronunciation is sadly Google Translate. So the pronunciation they give will probably be not really up to par. So again, if I mispronounce anything, please do tell me. But yeah, when I look at this building, com in comparison to the rest of the Agora, it's actually not that big. It's not like, well it is eye catching but that's mostly because of the colors, like the rest of the Agora or like harbor area has really almost muted brown colors and then this building has mostly red colors. Also from the last video I actually did change the colors of the walls because when the light hit it it was slightly pinkish and I don't have anything against the color pink but it just didn't suit the building like you have this more red orangey pillars and then you have like pinkish walls so I did change it to the more muted brown to also further set it in with the rest of the Agora and I also immediately have to say that because of the secret project that I'm working on, which I hope will be released next week, I kind of, well, I have developed a bit of knowledge on how to use like windows to make custom things. So when I go to the Agora, I actually have to like almost evacuate the park because my frame rate just suffers. Like even without recording, my frame rate suffers because I'm using a lot of parts but further on with like what I would like to change about this building which is not that much like it is kind of small but I don't really think making it larger would help I just think that there needs to be you know a bit more surrounding it like because now this is the only building really in the Agora, except for the buildings you will see later in the video. So yeah, I think when the Agora is halfway done, it will probably look a lot better because now it's just really an empty, well not empty building, but just an empty place with one building in it. But then every park starts that way, so I also just tried out something different with the decorations for the roof and because it's not a religious building so having like a statue on top of it would be kind of strange so i'm really just winging this like also the ping wings that i used in most of the temples made a comeback <laughs> they are not everywhere, like there, I think there are two or three, no, I, two, on um, now three penguins, so um, yeah, <laughs> but they did make a comeback and it's mostly because if you color them right they look like marble statues and sadly we don't have like enough, you know, statues that could pass for Grecian statues and I'm since my skills with like making custom things are improving again thanks to the secret project i will try to build a greek greek costume a greek 
lost the word for it for five seconds. Sculpture myself. <laughs> but for now we will have to do with ping wings, horses and elephants. Because those vintage pieces like they are supposed to be made of wood, but again if you color them right they look like marble. The only yeah, the elephants are a bit less useful because they are not that well they just have this large what do you call it? The slab that they stand up. They, it's larger than the sculpture itself. So whenever I try to use the elephant, you see that slab a bit too much. And yeah, that's why I don't use that a lot. But now on to what I said in the last video that we were probably built is a stoa. I s it still sounds a bit weird. And well for this stoa it doesn't look anything like the earlier built stoa that it's basically on the waterfront because this stoa was mainly built to like separate the agora from the harbor but also just to make the agora its own thing which is actually how they were used in ancient times they were used to like separate the agora from the rest of the city but also provide the space for merchants to trade and yeah just to trade with a bit of security that when it rains they wouldn't have to run and you know get their stuff out of the rain and then, yeah, this is basically like the ancient version of a shopping mall, only in a much smaller space. But I'm getting a bit off track again, but that's basically every video of mine. But for this store, again, I wanted to really use like the brown colors that I use in most of the arbor because the brown colors yeah they just go very well with the well I wanted to say Greek buildings but it's just the brown colors really suit with like the marble it doesn't really contrast that much but it also gives a bit of sense of like it's a bit more rough than if I would have like made it a bit more white or and it's not too rough that it's like this is really a poor area. In the wealthier district I will probably use a lot more colors or at least the walls will probably be a lot wider but the use of color will be a lot more seen because yeah colors were expensive. I think there's like this one die that they made of like the shell of a um, what is it snail and that was like almost worth its weight in gold like it was that expensive because it was only this one snail which could produce this color which was yeah it was purple and that's why you almost never see like purple in flags or anything because it was just for one of the most expensive colors to make for a long time actually but for the second stoa I did get a reference which is the reconstructed stoa in Athens like they reconstructed one stoa which looks a bit weird for me like like it looks good but it looks weird also because it's really white like I didn't expect it to be that white but for that store they had like a bit of an area above like the columnate 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 I will never pronounce that word correctly so I'm going to stop trying but they had an area above where they probably could like store their wares or the city could store something and I really like that and again 
uh, from the secret project I learned how to make somewhat believable custom walls. I do have to say this SOA isn't complete because it lacks the decorations on the bottom but on top it's complete. I also just copied the custom walls I made completely surrounding the building and the part that has well there's one part that has the columnades going around the building and there's one part where it just stops at the corner the part of the building or the, be the behind of the building where the columnade just stops is will actually be facing the coaster so I really I'm still thinking about a way to make that look a bit more in trance with the coaster or make it like part of the coaster like the switch track or something I think you call it that excuse me so yeah there's that again the this store is not fully complete and I will probably be changing it a bit add some color because now the only colors are brown white and a little bit of orange like a tiny bit and yeah like I again Assassin's Creed Aussie I looked at Stoas and they were a lot more colorful probably because again it's a bit of like a eye catcher where yeah the merchants would just want a better looking stoa because people would me be more drawn to shop in that stoa again kind of like a shopping mall today which a stoa basically was but for the next video i will probably be continuing this stoa and i don't know there's still some buildings missing probably some more stoas but also some more official buildings and yeah i hope you like the video and if you do subscribing is always appreciated and i will see you in the next video bye bye